Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the Photoshop Tips and Tricks, we are going to take uh, our actions to the next level. In the previous video, we had seen how to, the basics of making actions uh, and how to apply them on different layers. In today's video, we are going to see, to see how to create layers and to correctly position them between among the other layers and create clipping masks uh, from them. Okay, so without any further, let me start directly by creating our text. I'll put here one of the okay enter I'll select my second text okay I'll be placing placing my second text here simple and enter okay and then I'll be placing my third text here so we have enough text to make our trials, okay? And then the first thing, the first important thing that I will be applying uh, my effects on selections. So you cannot uh, use put the selection in your actions because it will be selecting the same area every time, maybe on different layers, but on in the same area with the coordinates and so on. So if your text is not in the same position, it uh, it will be wrongly selected. So the selection step will be outside your uh, action. So while I'm on one of the Okay, I'll be selecting the text in this layer. Okay, so the selection is outside uh, our actions. Yeah. Then I'll start adding actions, default actions to I'll start recording. As we said before, uh, recording uh, it has no relation with recording your voice, recording timing, and so on. It's recording only the actions which you say okay and which is are applied uh, to your layers. Okay, so the first action actions that I need to make out of this, I have this selection now. I need to move this layer. This, not, this layer I will not be duplicating, so I will be selecting it directly with direct selection, not with position, by just clicking on it. So you can see now that this layer is selected. That's my second action, which is recorded. And then I will be out of this selection. When I make Control G, it will be copying only the selected areas, which will be a clipping mask for our uh, selection. But I will do one thing that I like. I prefer to do that. I like to modify my selection. I like to expand it usually with one pixel. Okay. After that, I will be creating using Control G. I'll be creating a, la a layer out of this selection. To see th how this layer is done, I will be removing. I will remove the background and I'll remove the text. And then you can see that see that it is selected in the same wooden texture as the background. Okay. After that, I'll move this layer on top. Of my one of the okay after that I use a make a clipping mask out of it using create a clipping mask so a clipping mask would be uh, would be created while I'm on this layer I need to go back down one layer so I'll be using alt and the left bracket you can see now it is moving you can see it here it is select backward layer. Okay, and then I'll be applying some effects to this backward layer, bevel and impose. Okay, you can see this one. I can add some stroke just to pop it up. You can adjust the settings of this bevel and impose. Impose, it's uh, an easy job. Okay, and that's all what I have done. Okay, now I'll make stop for my recording. Okay, now I need to go to another layer, which is Ways. Okay, and then I will make the selection. Okay, and then I will bring it to the same position, which I used to, which was just above my fixed layer, that is the background layer. Okay, and starting from here, I will go to the top of my actions. And then I'll start playing my actions. Let you see how it will be working now. It's slowly because I'm making a delay two seconds slowly. In the third step, I will show it to you. Also, we will cancel these hides and show and so on. Just I was I was showing it to you. It was specific to the layer uh, one of the. Okay, now it moved it above ways as you can see here. It will create the clipping mask. It will go backward one layer. 
two ways exactly as we had said it would apply the effect of bevel and impulse and then your action is done perfectly done so we will see it in a faster way and how to make it in a faster way and uh, we will cancel these actions that are hide and true i don't need them to play anymore because we know what's uh, going on and i'm going to select uh, simple which is my last layer i'm going to make the selection okay and i'm going to position it just above the background okay and I, I, now i will play uh, now i need to to remove the delay as i promised you so i will go here to playback actions Pause for two seconds, I will make it accelerated so you can see how speedy it is. Okay, the target of making actions is to speed your uh, mess work. Okay, and I will run my actions. Okay, you can see in no time it's created, and you can see that it's taking the same texture of the wood behind it. So, and I will show you one thing more. I will add one piece of text here. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, now it is written behind the. So I'll take it up one step. Okay, thanks. Now, for these thanks, you can see I positioned it just the, in the right position. I'll take it up to the top. Okay, and I'll record one action here. which is to take the current layer and to move it down to the correct position okay and then you see it's recorded at the end it's no problem I'll just drag it so I'll stop my action and then I will drag this move okay to be the first action here to move the current layer and then I'll bring it anywhere in the middle. I don't need to be clipping. I'll just bring it here. Okay, so in any random position we had generated it. And let me see if we can, if we started making the actions, it will be able to move this layer to the correct position or not. If you remember, we had generated this step. In another position and we had moving it we are applying it to a different position to the layer sync so let me start here you can see that thanks is moved okay because I didn't make the selections so you can see that I made the problem I didn't make the selection so I cannot make the expand so you can see that specific so I go again I'll just bring it here to the very top again and I'll go make the selection As we said, that your actions are very specific. Okay. I need to cut this part. Okay. Now I'll start from the beginning again. I had made the selections and let me start playing. So it bring it down, created the layer, and applied the effects. You can it run in no time and it had already done. For, so we had now learned how to add. Uh, to our actions to add one step how to position if it's added in the wrong direction I can drag it to the to the step that I need to make it uh, how to uh, use actions to position our layers how to use actions to create a layer and to make a clipping uh, mask and how to select how to select using the alt uh, left bracket to, to select the backward layer alt right bracket I'll select the upward layer because selecting the layers with uh, names and so on will make a problem when you if you are applying to other layers unless that the layer is not uh, will not be changed its position it's like the image uh, background we are using this would be allowed. thank you very much for following so far uh, join uh, our channel uh, make the bell uh, uh, active uh, to see our uh, the videos that we produce twice a week uh, let me see you in the coming video. I hope you had learned a lot of information uh, in today's video. Thank you very much.